Hello, everybody. Uh, we are on the 24th part of CypherCast. Uh, our topic is cybersecurity in war context, how to be safe. My guest is Mindaugas. Hello, Mindaugas. Hello. Could you uh, tell something about you, who you are? <laughs> uh, I'm Mindaugas. I'm working more than 10 years in cybersecurity field. Um, this is the third company, the wireless company. Where I'm working. Um, I'm responsible for our company is not so big, so you know, one guy has to do a lot of work. So I'm responsible for developing realization, monitoring the business strategy in general, including market research, pricing, product marketing, and all the strategies to what our, our company wants to move in one direction and so on. Okay, we are living interesting times, maybe horrible time is better to, to talk about it. Uh, and, and we know we are during war with Ukraine, Russia and Uk Ukraine, and it is connected with cyber security and cyber attacks. How big is increase of attacks by ransomware during last three weeks? Do you have such kind of data? Yeah, we, we, we have and we saw from our customers database that it's priced about five times and first of all we have to realize that the war is not just in Ukraine land you know Russia is making war against Europe and, and all of our countries in in bigger picture because uh, some some information from last year so about 70 percent ransomware uh, revenue goes from Russia linked hackers organization and it was about 600 millions you know and these numbers will be increasing this year about five times as million it's uh, and we are talking just about ransomware not about other attacks and big increase it, if you compare to to previous time because we have big increase during covid time because everybody are working from home so i think that it means that the total increase is about 20 times if you compare to maybe a period two years we will, ago we will see uh, you know we are monitoring for one month because it started uh, like 24 of uh, february until now we are monitoring that ransomware attacks is increased a lot phishing attacks and uh, we have to talk about this kind of like Regular people don't think that we are a target to some kind of uh, Russian hackers activity or hackers uh, as, as hackers, no. But in Baltic countries, we saw that uh, there was hacked a lot of social uh, social media accounts. And these accounts was used to, to post information that is disinformation about Ukraine. It was very interesting that because uh, we all know that there are a lot of bots which are posting information, Facebook, Instagram, news portals, that we saw that there are a lot of hacked accounts and people even don't know that we are posting something, they don't know that we are sharing information. So, Yes, I think that the, the, the biggest problem is disinformation too, because in Poland we can uh, see the same on, on social media, especially Facebook, uh, from, from, uh, from accounts which in, in previous time are, are, are published posts about, about COVID now, now that COVID is not true, now this is, uh, this is another uh, sort of information that uh, war in Ukraine is is not like we see. Uh, do you have uh, an example of new ransomware from Russia during this time, during three weeks? New types? There is no new times. We are just uh, like new spreading methods. So, yeah. Uh, usually, uh, all ransomware attacks was through emails. And now we are using social media. We are using some kind of links to download something into computers. And we, are, we hacked accounts, like, for example, for your friend. And your friend will write you something in Polish language. 
okay, you download its uh, bill for your semiconductor. You will download that bill and your computer will be locked. Or uh, sometimes uh, we need zombies computers. We can later talk more about how this uh, kind of thing. Uh, do you think that ransomware as a service means that everybody can be a hacker without any knowledge? No. You know, you can... To make ransomware and to make it work, it's not a big deal. But to spread it, uh, later we'll show you some kind of case about organized, organized groups, gangs. We have a lot of people and to make it work, it, it's a big job. Okay, what about double extortion in new generation of ransomware? What does it mean? Because I think that some some people don't know. Uh, what you? Can what you about guess? double extortion in new generation of ransomware? It means that, for example, at the beginning, ransomware is stealing data. After that, it's encrypted. Ah. It. Yes. So, wh wh why is uh, what? Why is such kind of malware is so dangerous? Uh, you could uh, begin from beginning, as I said, about zombies computers. We know that a lot of computers are already hacked, and we are not acting weird or something. So, and these zombies computers is currently using to make DOS attacks for, for, for Ukraine websites, for, we have cases in our country, Lithuania, that zombie computers from people lived in Lithuania, which are like normal computers attacked and so on. And it's very hard to uh, prevent it. And these computers, when was used to, to do some kind of task, later we was, uh, uh, locked with ransomware because you know you have all the possibilities whatever you want to do to the computer so it was like when you are a computer you can make whatever you want and zombies computers is uh, an example why do you think people are the weakest element of cyber security only because of clicking strange links or from different reasons uh, all like if we to analyze like, famous cases like you know, NASA, for example, or whatever big companies ever do. In every time, we, there was a human mistake, not computer mistake. Uh, a lot of computers have uh, good uh, you know, differences if we are talking about organizations. But usually, we click stop the, uh, the antivirus program and something put the USB stick on, on, on it. And uh, usually, as I said about uh, ransomware attacks uh, from emails, people get about 80%, from 80 to 90% from emails. And who opened the emails? People. So, you know, <laughs> and of course, you have to have protection and uh, usually it's outdated, not working, and, uh, a lot of, Things. Okay. Uh, before starting our meeting, you you talk me about uh, ransomware gangs, uh, which terrorizing organization worldwide. Maybe you can talk more about it. Uh, I would like to present one like gang. I think it's at this time for us and for uh, some. Security specialists were most interesting. It's uh, Conti, that's call gang. Uh, hours after Russian troops crossed the Ukrainian border, uh, 24 of, of February, we offered full support for the Russian government. And we are linked to, 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 to Russia government and uh, we analyze even uh, some code of we are written code. And it was quite interesting that we are not uh, locking computers which are in Russia. Yeah. If we are uh, located that computers from Russia, we are not acting. And if computer is from Europe and other countries, we are locking computers. We are also uh, laundering money through all, all 
Russian uh, Bitcoin's base, uh, selling everything and gathering money. And this gang last year had made 400 cyber attacks on uh, institutions. 400, you know. So it's more than one attack in, in successful one attack in, in institutions. And we got about uh, about fifty million dollars from that activity, which are uh, paid. But it's I think it's uh, not a big number because uh, some organization which paid, we are not saying that because in the, I don't know, like in other countries, but in my, my country, you uh, government organizations can pay the ransom for for, for hackers. But perhaps we are paying. You know. We don't know. So, yes. It's this normal situation that nobody tells uh, everybody that paid. Yes. Yeah, and I would like to share the screen a little bit for a while to show if you see it. Yep. Uh, we was leaked information a lot of uh, in Twitter and uh, leaked information that people could understand how big this kind of organizations are. We have departments like Azure, Affiliate, Ransom Operation, Testers, and this is uh, people which had more than 10 uh, messages and it was leaked about 60,000 messages and it's uh, we are nicknames, how we operate and this kind of information it's about I don't know maybe 500 people operating in one organization. And we have a lot of gangs in, in, in Russia. There are three main, uh, main, 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 main uh, gangs which making money, and a huge money. And we can just realize how we will be supporting Russian government and doing this kind of you know, stuff. So uh, another question connected is with with uh, deep fate technology, uh, because this is something new what we see and how hackers can use our identity, face, and voice. Uh, it's 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 a huge uh, uh, topic, and we can talk a lot of about it. Uh, two years ago, I have uh, been in a new tech conference. If, uh, if, uh, it was uh, from a government man from Poland, uh, Germany, and we were talking about deepfake technology, and I was shocked how uh, realistic it is. And for two or three years, there was no so much uh, attacks. And now we saw that. Uh, uh, I could uh, tell one story how how uh, UK based company was hacked with a deep fake. So we hacked uh, CEO uh, Facebook, and CEO was in the trip and his phone was uh, available. Uh, we sent a voice message with uh, with video that he had to transfer money. And Asa, and the bookkeeper can connect with, with CEO, and he repeated the message with another words. You know, you have to make money, and she transferred about. I have remembered about one million in, in, in pounds, and it's it's quite hard to protect from this kind of situation. There are companies which are creating uh, some technologies how to protect that. Uh, some kind of watermark, some kind of fingerprint while you're talking, because at this moment, uh, this technology is not as good uh, in real time, you know, when we are talking. Mm -hmm. But after one, two years, it will be, we can, uh, you know, separate, if, if I am talking or Bill Gates is talking here, and 
I would, would like to show one more example. Freeman. Yes, this is not Morgan Freeman, but but I, I can see that this is not natural a little for me. <laughs> uh, perhaps you haven't heard the voice? No, no, you, I, I don't hear the voice. Ah, so it's it's the voice is uh, giving uh, giving more trustful view, you know. She is talking uh, about some kind of... And uh, when I was in the tech, uh, they said that please come from the audience and they make a picture. Of course, there are a lot of in uh, app stores, but they are not so good like uh, military could have it yeah, and make it. And the uh, interesting fact that do you hear that four days ago there was uh, Zelensky deep fake video released? I don't know about that. Uh, four days ago, uh, but uh, there was released a video that Zelensky is saying that we have to put the guns down and we are surrendering and the war is over. But it is very good that it, it was uh, amateur video and it is not very good, you know. So uh, Zelensky was controversial video and saying that it, it so okay so how we can protect against uh, ransomware and other other kinds of attacks what we should do talking about regular people i have few steps first of all I'm talking about email you know it's it's uh, as i said the, the, the case when people get 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 troubles so we all have work email and we have uh, personal use. So just separate. Don't use uh, same emails everywhere. It's your work email and personal use. We have to use uh, multi-factor authentication. If we will have multi-factor authentication, our Facebooks, uh, Instagram, so whatever, it will be not hacked. You, know, you can double check with your phone uh, and so on. Of course, you know that we have to use a strong email password system. Passwords should be changed regularly. So two, three weeks, even if you, you know, zombie computers, which I already have in Polish, if you will be changing, it is harder to make your computer read this kind of information because it's not, we are not reading information every day. And it's kind of like, you know, we got information about you and it's it's all uh, think before you click don't click even if you if i will get some kind of information from you or, and, and uh, you know my antivirus or something is telling that it's not safe i will double ask you are you really sending some kind of information and so on usually this kind of it could be sent like uh, an image but it would be uh, to open this uh, it's not like an image or something like that update everything because we are out of security holes and you know that in deep internet we can uh, hackers can buy security holes and infect computers and it's like we can bought one 100,000 computers and some kind of sum and you have zombie computers and you can do whatever you want ransomware or something and back up your files because if your computer was hacked and infected with ransomware your files will not be back it's 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 very hard to, to, to recover it and of course use antivirus software so it, it's mm -hmm. the most important thing that you secure your computer and use it trust it of course not from russia based antivirus <laughs> at this moment and from the uh, last views, uh, we saw a little bit rising numbers uh, infection from public Wi-Fi's. So don't use automatic uh, 
public Wi-Fi which connect automatically when you are going through some because it's quite easy to infect computer side to create uh, Wi-Fi a gift for people and they will be like you using your telephones and, and so on. Okay, we are going to the end of our meeting and my question is to audience, do you have any questions to Mindaugas? This is a good time for asking about different people, about different things. So uh, if you want any question, please write it down in chat. So some, someone is typing, so we will see the question. And you could talk a little bit about deep fake technology. How could uh, I think after a few years it will be used uh, very often? And uh, one example I had like uh, how people could uh, ask extortion. You know, you can hack the account which have million followers, and you could say I will publish some kind of fake video of you. In the porn situation or something that is humiliating, and people will pay a ransom, I think, for, 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 for these people, and it will be hard to stop it. And, and now it's in the security forums, uh, people are talking about that very often, often to secure people. Okay, we have two questions one is from Philip, uh, and Philip asked. Uh, what is the scariest technology for scams right now, in your opinion, apart from deep fakes? I think it's quite familiar to deep fake, but identity stealers, uh, because it quite easy, as 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 we said, to to steal your voice, to steal your uh, how you look like, to steal your accounts, and in our case, it's, it's stealing your identity, but because uh, I saw a futuristic movie and people, uh, one guy was uh, just kidnapped, uh, with the, and you have everything about that people, every information, and you have act like that people. You know? It's it's uh, it's like more like movie style, but, but it's quite scary. Another question is from David, and uh, David asked uh, what Lithuanian institutions have been under attack since the outbreak of war. Do you know? Yeah, as, uh, like I said, uh, in Lithuania was attacking news portals from zombie computers, which are based in Lithuania. And it was first time when we saw it, and it was quite an uh, interesting case because people didn't think that we are participating in this kind of situation. They was attacking our some government's web pages, but it was all at this time it was all DDoS attacks. So and uh, those attacks were we are, as I know in Ukraine too was uh, used a lot. I have another question from Marco. Is there a way to check if there are any threats on a component's network? Is there a more advanced tool or way that an antivirus? Uh, you know, it is a way uh, some antivirus companies have uh, tools to check a network, but in my opinion, you know, there, there is no unhappy unhackable systems. If you want to have trusted one, you have to separate from all network and uh, like in all uh, highly secured companies, the network, it will be only inside network. It can connect uh, to, to internet worldwide and you have to make layers because uh, some kind of like uh, CEO persons and uh, programmers have their own networks and it should be separated and uh, can ac uh, uh, install nothing, uh, can, uh, can't accept, uh, access uh, internet outside company and so on. So I think only 
uh, huge restrictions could, could, could secure a company. And, uh, yes, I think that there is no one answer for that. Uh, I think that this is, it was the last question during our uh, meeting, uh, and I see that there are two active people, it means Philip, David and Marco, and they will receive a, a Sky Warrior license. So uh, after a meeting, I will send you license codes. And I think that we should finish. Maybe you, Mindaugos, has uh, any other things you would like to tell uh, to our audience at the end? If I, I would like to summarize that Russian attacks could cost extremely huge destructive right now. I mean, we have to be secured because sometimes people pay the ransom and in this way we are supporting bad guys, you know. And uh, sometimes it, for me it's uh, quite strange that people said that Oh, it's it's to pay for security 50 euros in one year is a big money but we later we pay two three thousands to recover the files you know and that's that sum it will be enough for 50 years to, to, to pay for security or computer you know so i think we have to be secured we have to know that what we are going to face and in, in other words, don't pay the ransom in any kind. Yes, I think that this is connected with every cybersecurity solution that people think that, that it doesn't concern to me, that, but to others. But, but frankly speaking, this is not true that uh, hackers, especially Russian hackers, are interested in different sides of organizations and companies and every, everybody can be a victim. So we, we should know about yeah. that. And usually people think that I am a regular people, I'm going to work and I'm, they don't care about me, about my nation. Yeah, one one computer is not so interesting, but if you have 10,000 computers, we could do damage, we can do DOS attacks, we could make like a disinformation attack. And as I said, there, are, there was a lot of accounts which are writing and I was shocked because some accounts which I know, I asked them, do you really write that? He said, no, I, I'm not writing it. And, and this, this way it's working now. Okay, I think that we should finish because our time is over, 30 minutes. So thank you, Mindaugas, for attending uh, in our meeting. We will see in two weeks. I don't know with whom. I, I, I'm waiting for confirmation, but it will be about cybersecurity too. So have a, have a good uh, afternoon. Bye. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure to attend and good luck with podcast.